So, I have been getting bullied, accosted, and just belittled for using this keyboard, which is it's a good keyboard. It's the Apple Magic Keyboard in black with numpad, which I've really been enjoying. But apparently, since I use this keyboard, I'm not a real programmer, I'm not a good person, and I don't pay my taxes on time. So um, that is not the reason that I bought a new keyboard that is mechanical, but I bought a mechanical keyboard. So the mechanical keyboard that I was um, bullied into purchasing <laughs> um, is this one right here. It's the Equinix F96 in Coral, and I've never used a mechanical keyboard, never even typed on one. So I'm really interested in seeing my before and after of going from apparently a disgusting piece of poop to a, um, a pretty decent mechanical keyboard. I think I got cherry keys, but I absolutely have no mechanical keyboard knowledge. I tried to look up some mechanical keyboards on like line and do some research, but there's like a rabbit hole of mechanical keyboards. So I panicked and I bought the first one that an influencer that I respected was using, which is that one. So for this video, we're going to unbox that puppy and we're gonna bring it open. I'm gonna touch on it no more than nine times, but no less than 12 so I can get an initial feel of how I like the mechanical keyboard. And then after like two or three weeks, I'm gonna come back to this same chair and tell you how I feel about using a mechanical keyboard versus, um, versus that guy. So let's do that. So first impressions, it's definitely clicky. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but yeah, it's definitely clicky. It's super heavy. I don't know how heavy it is. I have to look at the poundage, but it's it feels sturdy, which I'm not sure if I love or hate, uh, but it, it's, it's nice. It's okay. I don't love it, but I guess we're going to really have to see how I feel with it over the next two weeks or a week and a half. The main thing I was really curious on if this can do properly was switching in between two devices, which is the whole reason I really wanted to get a different keyboard because this guy can't, uh -huh. <laughs> this guy can't switch between two So we're gonna have to test it out. That was really the biggest feature I was looking for. So hopefully that works properly because that's really why I wanted this guy. Um, so yeah, I'll come back in about a week and a half, two weeks, and tell you how I feel about mechanical keyboards. Alright, well I'm back. It's actually been a bit longer than the two to three weeks that I promised. It's been about four weeks, and during my four weeks of stress testing this keyboard, I realized I've been saying it wrong the whole time. It's the IQ Unix F96. If you want the down and dirty about how I feel about this keyboard, I like it. I like it a lot. I liked it so much that I bought two, one for me and one for my brother as a token of respect for him getting me into this life of tech in the first place. This keyboard, without a doubt, is probably one of my favorite keyboards I have ever used in my time on Earth. All right, and that is the it of the down and dirty review. I like it, I like it a lot. So now for the actual, actual review, we're gonna break it out into a couple of different portions. All right, the first thing we're gonna cover are my second first impressions, and then we're gonna go on into device switching, which is the reason I bought this keyboard in the first place, followed by ergonomics, and then finishing off with a touching clackety-clack test. Before we hop into the in-depth review, this video is sponsored by my thumb, so, um, you like you can like the video my thumb would be very uh, appreciative of it isn't that right thumb first up on my second first impressions is the same thing that was on my first first impressions this device is thick like it's super super sturdy you ever pick up something like a product and you can tell that the manufacturers picked the cheapest products and the cheapest materials to cut cost i feel like iq unix did the complete opposite of this because this puppy um once again is it's it's hefty but it feels like sturdy. Like I don't think I'm ever gonna break it. It's at 2.3 pounds, which is probably the heaviest keyboard I've ever used as well, but it still feels um, great to type on and like it's not going anywhere for 
well, at least a couple of years. And for my second topic of my first second impressions, it matches what I talked about on my first first impressions, which is that this thing is a beaut. Like by far the prettiest thing on my desk. It's just it's so nice to look at. It just makes my desk like pop a little bit. Every morning when I walk into this office, I'm just, I'm admiring old buddy. Okay, well moving right along into the actual main reason I wanted to buy this keyboard, device switching. So I should mention that I'm using this keyboard wirelessly and I have never had any issues with it. Like the connectivity between devices is always spot on. The response time though is a bit slow, like 0.1 millisecond response time. Step your game up. So obviously I'm joking, the response time is amazing and that same responsiveness carries over to when you need to switch in between devices. I run a multi-system setup for my office. I have my Mac over here, my PC on over yonder, which is again why I wanted to have a keyboard that could switch in between them very seamlessly, which this puppy can do very nicely. So I had my keyboard mapped to my PC and to my Mac, but this keyboard can support three different devices, so I had to think about what my third device was gonna be. And then one fateful afternoon, my woman decided to text me paragraphs about how I need to get a life, I need to stop sinking seven hours a day in a war zone when my KD is, quote, trash. Now typically, typically, I would just pull out my phone, break off the old thumbs, and then send a whole paragraph back. But uh, I'm not a Neanderthal anymore, so obviously I'm gonna set up my keyboard to map to my iPhone for its third device. And then now, I can so easily do a reply with the keyboard. So as you can see from that, it's super easy to switch in between devices, but the only thing I don't like about this keyboard and the switching is the changing the configuration from the Mac configuration layout to the Windows. It takes five seconds to do so. You got a whole function and then I for five seconds. Ain't nobody got time for that. So I find myself just leaving the configuration and layout in the Mac and then just making do when I have to switch over to Windows. So before buying this keyboard, I gave zero thought to ergonomics of keyboards. But um, I ran into an ergonomic issue with this guy because my previous keyboard, the Apple Magic Keyboard, um, was incredibly thin. And when I switched over to the IQ Unix F96, my wrist had to do a lot more work to get onto the keyboard. So that's because you use a ton of muscles when you have to flex your hand back to type. Like put your hand flat, hold your forearm, and just whittle your fingers like you're typing. Nothing. But if you crank your wrist back like that and then start typing, there's a lot more muscles and tendons going on doing some extra work which makes your wrist and forearms tired. So for the longest time I thought it was my keyboard's fault for being so tall and that's why my wrist was hurting so much but after about 12 seconds of research I figured all I needed to do to ease my wrist pain was to raise my seat a little bit so that it's a lot easier to get onto the keyboard. In addition to that I also bought a little wrist rest from Razer and that helps me keep my wrist a little bit more straight. So once I figured out the angle, it was a lot easier to type on. And what I really enjoy about the keys are the key travel and how the keys are shaped. It feels like a little hug for your fingertips every single time you type. So that was nice. But what I didn't like about the ergonomic key layout is that the, the numpad is so hard to find. I can never find the numpad without looking down. And that just feels like a me problem. But one of these days, I will figure out how to find them. And for the moment, you may have possibly been waiting for the keyboard test, that ASMR type stuff that you see on the internet is what I'm about to do right now. Uh, for reference though, these keys are the Cherry Red MX, Cherry, Cherry MX Reds? My bad. The Cherry MX Red linear switches are the ones that I got and they are not too clicky. They are smoothed down and smooth up and I like them. And for some really weird reason, out of all 100 keys on here, my favorite key to spam is the backspace key. It just sounds good. I'm not gonna embarrass myself with a typing test because I type just about as fast as a third grader. So I'm just gonna type some gibberish, probably recreate the Declaration of Independence, and um, that's what you can listen to. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. This was my first product review type video, so let me know if you liked it or let me know if you didn't like it. I don't know if you liked it until you tell me. It was very fun video to make. I love trying out new tech ever since I was a little lad. But um, yeah, that's all I have for the video. I hope you smile today and I'll see you on the next one. I hope you, that seemed forced. I'm not gonna say. See ya.